Hey guys, welcome back to another day of hunting with David. Sorry, I'm about here in Bison. Uh, hunting this burnt area. So I saw some track here. It's going straight uphill, so I figure I'm gonna follow this track and see where it's gonna lead me. I just need to make it all the way to the top. So I had this a steep climb. At least a real estate climb. All right, so I walk about a third of a mile up on this uh, pretty big hill, and I finally find a good spot that I figure, out, well, I could sit here and glass on the other side because right across it there was a uh, a pretty big hit hill too, and I can see a lot of open space here and there, and I figure, well, this is probably a good spot for me to just sit because I don't feel like going any more higher than this. I'm pretty exhausted. But, uh, you know, I sit there for about maybe two hours um, and just glassing the other side, hoping to see something. But unfortunately, I didn't see anything at all. While I was walking this row, I came across a doe in the fawn. They were making their way up. Only a doe. Doe and a baby. Hey guys, what's going on? Today is day two. So, I'm climbing this teacher's hill. Just get to the top, second glass. Tough climb. So at this new spot that I got into, I actually been referred by a friend that they say they see a lot of big buck in this particular area and they also see a lot of big bear at this area too so they recommended me to come here and actually sit here early in the morning so this is what I did I came here really early before sunrise uh, find a decent spot to sit and just glassing on my right side hoping to see something making the way down and also on my left side there's a big field too a little empty field so I can actually uh, glass down there hoping that the deer will cross from, from the left to the right because according to the guy that tell me a uh, deer actually makes his way over to the um, top and they make their way down and some actually came from the left to the right and into some of the private land that they have too so I thought this was a pretty promising area but it turned out that uh, I didn't see anything.
All right, so quick recap. I was up there since the break of dawn, morning light. I see nothing dry, hot. So right now I'm walking back down here to a SPI row. A lot of BLM right next to it as well. So I'm just gonna slowly walk this trail, make this road and see where it leads me. It's hot. I just don't think I'm gonna see anything. I'll be happy to take any legal boat today. So for this third day, third area that I hunt, I actually have a privilege of knowing the friends and they actually know a friend that is kind of like a landlocked. The area that I hunt is actually SPI land, but in order to get to the SPI land, you have to go through a private land. And so one of the friends uh, that I know, I actually know the person that live on that private land, actually gave me permission to just drive into the SPI land over there. Otherwise, I would have to do a long walk, so I was actually pretty happy that I can just drive there and just park my car and just kind of like hike down of just kind of glass my left and my right and especially that clear cut and there's some timber right in the middle so uh, we know that there are there in that timber because when we got there we actually spooked two doe or two deer we didn't know it was a doe first so we actually spooked two deers and they were just running into the timber so we didn't really know so we have a high uh, hope for this particular area and i say you know what i'm just gonna sit here early uh even though it's super early super early i i got there around three or four or five o'clock so still a lot of daylight left and i just uh, i'm just gonna dedicate the whole evening just sitting here and hoping i'll see something but it turned out i didn't see anything with just uh, i saw a bunch of a few does and that was it Alright, I've been sitting here for three hours now. Just glassing this open clear cut with a bunch of timber right in the middle. I'm just waiting for sun to set more so they can come out of the timber. Right? There's like three trail leading into and out of the timber, so I'm gonna hoping there are a lot of bucks in there. Uh, when we get here, when we got here, um, we saw two deer was running back and forth in there because then they, they heard us, so they take off and running. So we know there are deer inside. But so far, the sun is starting to set. It is 5.22 right now. So I'm waiting for like 6, 7, the last one and a half hour or two is um, the prime time for me. And I just pray that there's a deer coming out of that timber. So I've been here for two hours now. And also two doe. Still a lot of lights left, so I'm gonna keep waiting here. I think I'm gonna see something. All right, so came here to glass, 500 yard out, two doe, no buck. Well, look, I did not see anything at all. Waiting here for a good five hours, starting at two. Can't find anything. We just saw that doe come. But that was just a doe. Anyway, just gonna make my way all the way up there and walk the ridge and get to the car and call it a night and go back to go back home. Steep.
Ouch. 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 I hurt. This right here is my morning view. So for this spot where I'm at, we were actually hoping that the rain will come in early in the morning because based on the forecast, rain supposed to hit like early in the morning, five, six, seven, or eight o'clock like that. And you know, I was fully ready, was hoping that once it start raining, deer is gonna start moving, and I'm gonna have a good clean shot because you know, there's a lot of open land down there. And you know, if I see a deer, I'm pretty sure I I have plenty of time to actually shoot that deer but turn out the the forecast lie it didn't happen at it didn't rain like at in morning light at seven eight it didn't happen until like almost nine or ten o'clock that's when it's starting to rain and that's when I started to see some deer movement So you spotted a buck on here, came down this side here, so I'm going to loop around here and hope I get to see coming this way. I don't know if you can see this, but it is raining. Oh, so happy that I got my deer. Oh, oh, it's raining hard. Oh, I had to walk. It's a good walk.
<sighs> I don't know if you can see this, but it's a nice 4x4. No, 3x3, 3x4, 3x4. Look at this. Nice 3x4. Y2. Oh, look at this. <sighs> Get this nice uh, 3x4 right here. The it's a small little right here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Check it out, a nice four by three. Oh, super stoked about it. Excited, happy. Nice box. Thank you, thank you. Oh. to join choppy choppy but yeah lot of auto you here down that chat to put my little locker little the Puma Lu Locker. Lock the road. I'm going to shoot the tire. Lock the road. Hey, sorry, I'm going to play a little low tire. All right, man. Check it out right here. Two bucks. A 3x3 and a 3x4. Uh, super excited, super happy that we managed to get this two deer here. Uh, it came on the rainy day, so so happy that we able to connect and I can go home and no more uh, D zone for a long time. For next year. Now it's all D zone right? only. Again, uh, super stoked that I was able to get my deer this one here so you know this two here is a beautiful beautiful deer <laughs>